What's going on everyone? Preach back again. And today, we've got something a little bit different to look at. We've got a borrow slash RTA. A cross vape and Dovpo have teamed up to bring us the hazard. It's very, very different to what I'm used to. Let's, uh, let's take a look down, build it. We'll come back up and we'll talk pros, cons and everything else. See you down there. Okay, here's the box for your hazard RTA. I cannot show any more of the box. There's websites, socials, and all that shit all over there. So we're just gonna pop the top here. Oh, nice. And there is your RTA. And this is <laughs> different looking. That's very different looking. So this you can run as an RBA in your borrows or as an RTA, which I thought was kind of freaking cool. And that is actually a very nice looking RTA. Very nice. That drip tip's going to be absolutely horrid though. Is that an O-ring? That is not a drip tip. You put your drip tip in there. Really? How tall does that get? That's an O-ring in there. Interesting. Let's pull this apart, shall we? Nice knurling on it. I like the little logo at the top. Doesn't look too bad. And then there's this thread. We do have a couple of threads there, but I don't think it threads in here, it just pops in. Yep. Interesting. So you're just going to pop that into your base like that. You've got these two stoppers on the side here. So I'd assume for the RTA, they would be plugged, right? Because you want your airflow traveling up and under. In a borrow, would it not still be traveling up and, mm. Don't know. Oh, there that goes. Maybe it just holds it together. I suppose you could run it like that and you'd get fuck tons of airflow. I think it'd be turbulent as fuck. It would be, because like, you'd still be blocking it. I'm thinking even in a borrow tank, you'd still be blocking it. So I guess they're just put there to help hold it together, which, I mean, is helpful. It's definitely different, isn't it? Hazard RBA is written on there, if you can see that. Not that you can, really, because the camera's so fucking shit ass. But yeah, we do have RBA written on there, which is nice. And there is a look at the deck. As far as what we put in there, it's going to be very, very small, very, very basic too. So, but that's that. You put a tiny ass little coil in that. You know, pop the sides back on. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I guess it's kind of cool, but could they not have done it in another manner? Could have clipped together in the deck somehow, but anyway, the idea that it's all sold as one package like this, RTA or RBA, I think is really fucking cool. Obviously, I can only do one at a time, and um, I mean, the build... Regardless, the build deck is going to be the same. The space you've got is going to be the same. It's only going to be coming, you know, the difference is, oh, hey, do I want to take this out on a fucking, no, I don't know. I don't know where the, uh... <sighs> I don't know where the inspiration for doing this came from. But I mean, I guess there are, there are tanks out there um, that do take borrows in them. So, I mean... I don't know, each to their own. Let's get a little fucking tiny coil in this, eh? Hey? Okay, so I've opted in for some, just some basic 24 gauge in there, spaced out. 
I do like that they've put four screw holes in there, even though there's only two screws. So you can sort of go either either side, depending which uh, way you wrap your legs, which is nice. So if you've got one, yeah. Look, I could have pushed it. I just don't think with anything bigger than like a three mil plug, everything else is smaller. It's probably mostly designed for a uh, MTL type feel. So I was going to put a little Clapton in there or something, and I thought, nah. No, this is going to be a lot tighter, I think, than uh, I was expecting. So that's 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 as basic as we're going, guys. Very easy to fucking build, very nice to build. Let's get some wick inside of there. Now, the threads to actually put this on your mod, I don't know if it's just this mod, um, but it's it's almost like a, a quarter turn, and then it sort of locks onto your mod, and then it sort of comes off. It's... There's not a lot of threads there, so depending on what mod you're trying to thread it down onto, you might have a bit of trouble. So just keep that in mind. Pull that through nice and tight. Very nice. Now I definitely want to run it both as a tank and a burrow. Um, we might put the tank together first. I can't imagine I'm going to vape much more than about, you know, the 20 to 30 watts sort of off this coil. We shall see. I want to get that nice and thin because the channel there is, is quite small. Definitely want that all fluffed out as possible. And we're going to cut literally in line like so. And same thing on the other side. And is that too much or is that going to be alright? I think that might still just be a little bit too much. Them. One of them. That's better. That's better. This one's alright, I think. That one feels good. Some little phrase there. You can get rid of them if your scissors are good enough. And that is that, guys. Then you're going to take your cap. Actually, you know what? We might grab some juice and wet it first, eh? Juice. I'm using some of my white stuff. This is a very, very strong vanilla custard. French vanilla custard. Now, the coil will come in at about a 0.6. I'm going to add a uh, 0.55 there. So, it should be nice and fiery. Looks pretty fucking good to me. Just gonna neatly sit that in there. Camera's not gonna focus, don't worry about that. Just a little little push there. Just make sure it's all sitting there in place nicely. And we'll take our top cap, or the rest of our chimney, I should say. And um, pop her down on top. If you can. Mm. 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 I still had the tiniest amount of legs sitting here that I couldn't quite see. So make sure you really chop your legs fucking close. That's where my wicks are. Not bulging out of those holes. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's definitely different having something held together like this. Let me know in the comments below if you've used a borrow that's held together like this before because I've uh, I've never seen one Oop, oh, there we go now it's in place look it's a little fiddly decent size deck like decent enough for, for what I'm assuming this is supposed to vape like Whoop. there we go see what I mean not a lot of threads there it is a nice looking borrow very nice I love that gun middle 
gun metal metal I could turn into a Kiwi for a second. I love that gunmetal version, a uh, 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 Finnish version. I don't know if they did blacks. I know they've done a silver. Um, look, it looks great. Let's, I'm gonna. I think we're gonna run it in the tank um, to start with. I want to see if the ohms still read the same through this connection. Oh, I'm getting no reading. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh. Seeing that? Uh, oh, it's reading. Let go of the top of it. Not reading. Reading. Not reading. Reading. Not reading. I'm sure that once you put it all together, enough pressure, down pressure on those threads will push that in and you'll have fine connection. No worries. I really don't like the look of this built in step up drip tip. Thing that you can then put your own drip tip in that o-ring I was looking at earlier there was a fucking o-ring in there I'm tell guys you saw that o-ring earlier did I yank that out while I was putting fucking other drip tips in I may have that's odd but yeah look you can I mean you can put a 510 in there if you find one that works it, it looks absolutely horrendous absolutely horrendous whoop so I'd assume you just use it like that. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't really put a tip in that. But look, it's a, it's a nice tank. Very nice. I love the knurling. I just don't like this drip tip thing. You could change that drip tip up, and it would have been a very nice looking tank. Oh, look at what's this short. Oh, I've got a short. That's not what I want to fucking see at all. New build. What the fuck? Wow. Okay. We are shorting. That's for sure. There are those legs. Are, they can't be anymore. I can't get rid of any more leg, mate. I can't believe that shorting. Fuck me. This is why you don't see me do a lot of these. Nope. No fucking way. That is... That is nasty. Something's wrong here. Something is wrong here. Let's investigate. Okay. I did have to get in there even flush. I had to undo that screw a little cut off and then put that screw back down it I didn't think it was touching but it was clear something was touching a reading a point four four cap off fires fine cap on push down fires fine so we should be good things like these are a little fiddly at times a lot of people have, uh, will have asked me in the past oh, what are you why do you leave all this in your reviews? Because I want you to fucking see that sometimes even I can have trouble with shit like this. Of course we can. Now let's put the whole tank back together. Hope we're still reading like a 0.4-ish build. And uh, what did it say? 0.44? Let's hope, let's hope that's what we read, hey? Oh, you shit, motherfucker. Alright. 0.4 and firing. That's what we want. Now, the cool thing that I just realized about this is it's got like a pod style sort of fill method, which is really fucking cool. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. You got this little grommet. <laughs> when I was pulling it apart, I realized it went up because I was, I, was, I was looking for a top cap. I went to unscrew and I'm like, oh yeah, there's no screw thing there. No, you just... Nice. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of um, one of my favourite tanks of all time. Everyone remember this? The old uh, OBS jammy? I used to love that fill port. I used to fucking love that. Reminds me of that, which is kind of cool. So yeah, we're going to use it in tank formation. I want to see just how much airflow this, this has to offer, I guess, versus running it in, say, something like the Pulse. The one trick going to be difficult for me here is using my sauce bottle to fill that 
you want to see? You want to see if I can do it? This, this shit could get messy. I'm sure that's enough, right? That even go down? Yeah, there's some juice in there. That'll do. That'll do. There we have it. The Hazard RTA. Let's go up on top and see what we think. All right, we're back on top with the Hazard by Dovpo and Across Vape. Now look, I, I don't know, I, it's, it's supposed to look like a gas mask, I think, right? I get it, that's what they've, they've, they've fucking printed on the side of it. But they could have blacked it out. They look horrible, you know? Um, I'm not sure, I said down there, I don't know where they got the inspiration for like the, the pull apart. I've seen them, I've seen a couple tees that are split that way. Um, and then like the, the push, just like a little PMP style bridge into the, it's, I really like that. Um, it's my first time ever experiencing a, um, a bridge in a tank, in an actual RTA base like that, especially so effortlessly, you know, I, I really, really dig that, but it's fucking ugly. It's, I mean, the RTA as a whole was done pretty well. I believe the knurling. Should have been down at the bottom, where your airflow is. I think they should have knurled that section and possibly had it not fucking go in another bloody half a mil or whatever they've done there. Um, that's what I would have done. And fuck me, they should have changed this drip tip because having a, a built-in tip, I mean, yeah, okay. You, you fucking want to make sure you hit the money when you do that, and they did not. This is... Ugh. You can put your own drip tips in there though, but then you've got something that's, I, I don't even think I'll find a drip tip. Give me a second. I don't think I will. I didn't find one. They're all insanely stupidly large. I won't lie, that works though. Works very well. That is fucking hideous. That is hideous. Even if we go like the... Right, we'll take the obnoxious one away. We go something as short as I've got, as small as I've got when it comes to a 510 drip tip. Oh, it just goes right to the edge. I can't even remember what the fuck this came out of. Some restricted fucking tank, that's for sure. But even that, look how dumb that looks. The vapes really well though. I don't know. Look, I don't like. I don't like that. I don't like feeling the step and the metal. I'm not a big fan of metal tips as it is usually, but I don't like feeling that step. Takes some getting used to. But as far as performance. You saw me put that god awful build in here, and 25 watts with the uh, the the large plug, that three mil insert. Fucking beautiful, 20 to 25 watts, absolutely delicious. Got it wide open there, three mil, and it's yeah, it's restricted direct lung. I love it. I really can't fault it. With a build as horrible as what I put in there, it's it's performing amazing. I really like it. I love the, the screws in the deck. Although there's not a lot of room, I didn't feel like there's there's not a lot of leg room. You could definitely go a thick coil in this if you could fit it, you know, something a little bit thicker. 
but the the space you've got between your screw and the little bit of a lead the tiny ass bit of a ledge they've given you it's not a lot of room not a lot of room at all like they could have just done a bit better but i like how they've put the two screws in there or the two screw holes at least I've only put two screws in, but there's four holes in total. So you, depending which way your coils wrap, you can just move the, I liked that. That was, I didn't note that out there, but they've got the extra holes there. So you can, yeah, you can put your screw wherever the fuck, you know, depending on which way your coils wrapped. I like that. That is nice. But overall, I think they've missed the mark because this could have been perfect like, they had an opportunity, in my opinion, to have really perfected this. I, well, I'm getting used to it. I really hate that. Why'd you do that? That does not, mm, that doesn't make me feel like it's an RTA. It makes me feel like I'm using a pod. Don't, no, it doesn't help. Should have been a quick quarter turn or half a turn. That's what I think. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think of the Philport. Uh, that, that's atrocious. But it is the first time I've ever had a borrow in a tank. And it's really cool. And it's effortless as far as putting it in the tank. You know, it just pops in like a fucking PMP coil. And yeah, the performance is really, really good. They just, aesthetically, they could have fixed up a few things, you know. They could have smoked this out. Definitely made these black. You know, something. Definitely, definitely digging this. They did a good job. It performs really fucking well. I just think it's really ugly. Like, really ugly. But I can't deny that it performs very fucking good. So, I, I, look, I didn't put it in a billet box or the pulse or... Or any little fucking... I don't have a billet box to put it in. Like a, a little fucking borrow box. I don't have one. I've got borrows specific to their boxes created for them. So I, I couldn't even do that to tell you. But the RTA offers tons of airflow through there. So I'd assume you're probably getting about equivalent, if not more, than what you'd get pulling off your fucking billet box. Great fucking performer. Huge shout out to Sylvie. Thank you. One of our best and uh, most loved subscribers here on the channel. He sent that out uh, for review, and I appreciate it, mate. I've said it before. I'll say it again. You send, you send products to review. I'm going to fucking review them. Um, he really wanted to see my impression on that, as did everybody else. So I hope you are happy. I'm actually really fucking happy. But I can't look at it. I really can't. And it was so close to being way better. Like, I, I feel like this was such a missed opportunity because I, I love it and hate it so much. And just, just by tweaking it up, they make a V2 of this and correct all those things. Ooh, you bet your ass is going to be a high fucking... Oh, it's just so ugly. The drip tip situation is horrible. That full port is fucking disturbingly bad. Why'd you do that? Uh, but... Performs very fucking well. Look, I'm going to go... I'll go in that... Uh, I'm going to go 6.5, I think's fair. I want to, I want to say a 7, easy 7, but it's so fucking ugly, in my opinion. <laughs> Look, at my, it's subjective. You know, you, you give it a 7 then. Um, thank you all for tuning in. We'll have another review soon, actually, thanks to Sylvie. So uh, thank you, guys. I love when subscribers are deciding to uh, start hitting me up and sending me shit out to review. It um, makes it a little bit easier on me, I won't lie. And... Uh, I get the enjoyment of using um, the same products that you use because you may not necessarily pick up the things that I'm reviewing and vice versa. So I appreciate the help out actually, Sylvie, because now it, di it didn't cost me money because we all know Dovpo aren't sending me any fucking products. So thank you, Sylvie. Everyone, remember, keep on vaping.
keep on preaching.